In this example, we are going to conduct a hypothesis test to make a conclusion about a snack product. Here's the setup. A processed food company claims that their cheesy sauce has a fat content of 15%. After receiving several complaints from consumers, a statistician at the FDA measures the percentage of fat in a random sample of 20 cheesy sauces. Previous measurements found that cheesy sauce has a standard deviation of 2.6%. Remember that standard deviation is a measure of spread. We are going to conduct a hypothesis test to determine whether the fat percentage is actually higher than 15%. We are looking at the mean fat content, so our parameter will be mu, which in this case is the mean fat content for the cheesy sauce. Mu is a population mean, so this is the mean fat content for all of the cheesy sauces that the company makes, not just from the sample. The null hypothesis should say that there's nothing to worry about here. The mean fat content is actually 15%. The alternative hypothesis should say that the mean fat content is actually higher than 15%. The significance level alpha is the value we will use in step 4 as a cutoff to decide if the result of the sample was unlikely to happen by chance alone if the null hypothesis is true. A good rule of thumb is to use 5% or 0 0.05 unless told to do otherwise. In step 2 we just need to summarize our data. So in this case we just need to find the mean from the sample of the 20 cheesy sauces. Using the Google Sheets average formula, we see that the sample has a mean fat content of 16.3%. In step 3, we calculate the p-value, which is a probability. Here, it is the probability of getting a mean at least as large as 16.3%, like we did in the sample, if the true mean for all cheesy sauces is actually 15%. In this situation, we can use the z-test formula in Google Sheets to calculate the p-value. After we highlight the data, we use the mean from the null hypothesis, which is 15, and the standard deviation of the population, which is 2.6%. A p-value of 0.012 means there is only a 1.2% chance of getting a sample mean as high as 16.3% fat if the true mean is actually 15% fat. That's a pretty small probability. Since this p-value is less than our significance level of 0 0.05, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. And we conclude that the fat content of this company's cheesy sauce is actually higher than 15%. In this example, we used a hypothesis test to conclude that the cheesy sauce fat content is higher than advertised. And signing off.